Thanks for clicking. My name is Chris and this video is on my GoPro 11 and the overheating issues I'm having with it. Um, so basically it lasts like 20 minutes on the highest setting and on 4K at most at room temperature it lasts like 40 minutes. So it's not a problem if I remember to uh, turn the camera on and off using the app um, but sometimes I forget and the camera then when I start recording the camera's already hot and it doesn't last very long and I lose a chunk of my video if I'm not able to see if it's see the record light on it so uh, I came up with a solution to it it's kind of like a accessory um, I didn't hurt the GoPro to do this it's just something I can add to it to uh, cool it down, help cool it. So um, if you wanted to attempt this to make it. So what you would need is this little rig case. Uh, it's the plastic one, the cheaper plastic one. Um, it comes with this door, which I picked this because it doesn't have any mechanism on the back. It's just a clip-on door, so you're able to uh, cut, the, cut the slots into it. So basically this is where it takes air in and then it blows it out right here. Um, and then this is the little fan that I'm using. It's a 20 by 20 millimeter fan that I got on Amazon. I believe they only sell this one fan so um, and then I made this shrouding for it I'll give the dimensions of it in just a second um, and basically what I did was I took the fan and I just used some double-sided really thin double-sided tape I believe I used fabric tape but um, any double-sided tape would probably work or you could use a silicone uh, sealer I think I used some gaskets automotive gasket sealer for this part this is a separate piece that I made to deflect um, and also this little flap right here uh, helps keep it uh, back against the GoPro in the back so this kind of when it's together this would be like that and this kind of holds it like right there so it holds it against it and then the air just blows out like that and, and it brings it in right here um, it works pretty good and then the other thing that's needed if you want audio you would need this um, I don't know if there's other ways to do it but um, this is what I use to get the audio and power and then you would need a power source for the GoPro not everything works for powering that GoPro needs a little more power than I think the other ones did so this is what I use this is basically a battery pack that can be used on lights uh, I have a light that it works on um, it also it's big so it turns my light into like a spotlight I, that was pretty cool I thought this was gonna be too big for the light and then I realized it turned it into a flashlight or a spotlight so I can use it outside for other things um, but this is also used in like camcorders and uh, it has an out right there for that kind of plug USB and then it has uh, these kind which I don't know if those are just charge ports or I don't know I always use this one so 
on the net has a little display. So this is the one that I use. Um, it makes a good battery bank too. I mean, it'll charge up stuff. And then there's, this is what I use to power the fan. The fan is a five volt fan. This is a six volt battery. It just makes it run a little faster. Uh, I don't think it'll hurt it. Otherwise, I think you would have to use a four four volt fan or a four four volt battery, which then it would run slower. So, uh, if you want it to last longer, you'd probably use the four volt. Uh, and then this is a battery bank that kind of works with it. Um, I think it's made by Power Bank. It won't work on these ones, but it'll work on the USB 3. So, uh, still a good power bank, but it doesn't. Uh, I just use this one because it's easier. Um, and then there's the the loom, wire loom that I made. So, it has this hooks to the uh, battery, to the batteries. And then this hooks to the uh, fanning GoPro. So I'll give the dimensions real quick of the fan and then I'll put it together and show you how it works. So this way is About 33, 60 or something. Hopefully, you can see that. And then this way, uh, without the little flap, is 38, 20 something. And then with the flap, it's uh, 40, I think it's just 40, Forty six. I thought last time I did was just 40, but Forty fifty-eight, and then the rest of it is just the same size as the fan I left that part open and then the sheet metal um, I used do it from right here Thirty point thirty. Yeah, I think it's right around point thirty. So something right around point thirty for the sheet metal, and then it's easy to work with. Uh, so very easy to make. It's just literally folding it like that, and then folding down a piece like that you just have to I, I mean it was like super easy to make um, and then you could when when you attach this to the shrouding you just want it to be removable so if you use silicone it still could pry it away so double sided tape or, or something that will be removable um, but still good enough that you can tug on it and get it out. Um, so, to put it together, uh, just have to remove the door and the battery. And then the fan just goes in.
Um, you got I like to use something like tweezers or something and just make sure it's all the way back against the wall there. And so it fits in like that. And then the little door goes on. And uh, it just clips on like that. So I think it still looks pretty nice. I mean, uh, even without the case, it can still be used this way. Um, if you don't need this part. And there's the case. Oh, it's easier to put this on without the door. Oh, I already did it. It'll still fit on. Smush the wire a little bit. Alright, and that's that. So then this goes on um, like this. hook on the fan plug it into the power and The other nice thing about this is you don't have to turn it on and off, it just turns on when you plug something into it. I think some of them do, but some some I have issues with them turning off and on. I don't know if that power bank does it, but some they turn them automatically turn themselves off and then they won't come back on when they're needed again. Uh, so that goes in there. And then As you can see the camera works it just says no battery I think one of the side effects to this is you might not get uh, the preview screen on the phone I, I don't know the last time I tried it my preview screen wasn't working so um, but I'll give that up to keep the camera cool so I don't know, it might it might work, it might not. I have to test more. So it's not that loud. I don't know how loud it is coming to here, but it's not loud. If you're using an external mic it's it's not gonna affect it. But it does push out quite a, I can feel the air right there. I mean, I can feel the air back here. It uh, pushes out quite a bit. So, um, I've, I've been using it like this, but when I really tested it, uh, I had it on its highest setting, 
and uh, I let it run it ran for about an hour and 20 minutes and then I had to turn it off I had to go somewhere I didn't want to let it just run so um, it lasted an hour and 20 minutes so I figure uh, on 4k it'll probably run out the card it'll just keep running so I don't think it'll have any issues unless it's really hot out and then uh, I don't even know how people are using these GoPros when it's like I live in Tucson so when it's 110 out uh, I kind of wonder how long the GoPro will last at that temperature um, I don't know I haven't had one to you or I haven't tried using it at that temperature but I probably will be uh, this summer um, I got some trips planned so uh, that's how I do it and it's working pretty good for me so uh, it's pretty easy to replicate you should be able to make one for yourself if you need to have the GoPro last longer or uh, want to keep it on during uh, videos not have to turn it off and on so um, in my next video I'm gonna be showing how I add a extra battery to my DJI Air 2 um, I get about maybe depending on how good the batteries are it all depends on that like brand new batteries will I can get an extra 10 minutes of flight time out of it uh, like 6 to 10 minutes depending on what I'm doing um, but I mean that's a lot of time uh, so I'm going to show the best way to do that that I do it um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing subscribe and uh, that'll be my next video